Awesome. Welcome, everyone, to our Monday Night Pageant Podcast. We are thrilled that you are joining us tonight. Um, I'm April Vaughn, Senior Presidential Director, and my co-host is Brian Penrod, Senior Presidential Director as well. How are you doing tonight, Brian? Doing fabulous. It's been a great, great start to the week already and excited about tonight for sure. Me too, because we know we've got two amazing stories with Pam and Barbara. They have got some just powerful stories. I'm so excited about um, to hear Katie's update from Pam and Barbara has a really powerful story as well. So we are thrilled. And um, Barbara, are you there? If you could unmute, we will go ahead and get started with you. Well, we, let's, let's let David read the disclaimer first. David, you want to read that for us? Sure, thank you. All LifeWay products are not intended to cure, treat, diagnose, or prevent any disease. If you are pregnant, nursing, on medications, or have any medical conditions, please consult with your physician first. All patching podcasts are for educational and informational purposes only. Now back to our beautiful host. Hi, hi Ryan. <laughs> thank you, David. Thank you so much. Um, Barbara, are you ready to get started and tell us your amazing story of what all these this technology has done for you? I sure am. I'm happy to be here, April. Um, Thank you. I'm glad you joined us and you have been. Um, <laughs> I've loved following your journey and with the one with your family too over this past year. And it was lovely meeting you last year and pretty up in Arizona. Yeah, I met you. Yeah, Absolutely. in Scottsdale. That was the first time I got to meet you face to face. So, um. Tell us a little bit about your journey with the patches and how you felt before and things that you were dealing with and um, what you're, how you're feeling now, you, what you're doing and the different patches that you're using each day. I know you were telling me about that, so we're excited to hear. Well, I have to go back a few years, like 18. I've been on an 18-year journey to find health. Being a nurse for 55 years, <laughs> 56 this year, um, nurses don't always know the right things for a healthy body, nor do doctors for that matter. And so sometimes um, you think something is so simple as health, and it's not. It's, it's something you have to do. So 18 years, and I, I first found out, I first realized 18 years ago I couldn't walk barefoot. I'd had an old injury from a, from a teenager in my foot, and I was just a holy mess. Couldn't walk, couldn't do a lot. And what happens when that happens is you don't, you gain weight. You, uh, and then you're depressed, and then you eat too much. So about, about 2005, the doctor told me I had to have foot surgery and have a bone taken from my leg, put into my foot to immobilize my foot. And I went, mm, nine month recovery. Well, will the inflammation ever go down? Well, mm, no, no, it won't go down. I said, well, no, I don't think I want the surgery. I'll just keep wearing the Birkenstocks I've been wearing because it immobilizes my foot. So that's what I did. And, and then 2005, uh, 2008 came along and I had to have a pacemaker. And um, and that was I had vasovagal syncope and I was passing out on airplane flights and having seizures. So that became necessary. Then 2010, I found out I'm bone on bone on my knees and I will need to have, uh, you know, new new knees <laughs> within a few years. 2012, I got serious. I changed my nutrition. I started drinking more water um, and my life changed. Inflammation began to go down. And I was just becoming more and more healthier. I still was struggling. I was still bone on bone. I still had pain. And then 2022 20, came and I had a really bad fall, which caused me in and out of the emergency room, swelling in my knee, my lower calf, my left leg, which by the way, was where my foot injury was the left foot. <clears throat> so that whole left side, I was a mess. And I went from walking trying to walk several miles a day to not walking at all. Then I met Jan Ran through another friend. And Jan came over and she showed me these little patches. And I and she said, I think I can help you. And I said, well, you think that little patch can help me, do you? <laughs> and, uh, but you know, she was so cool and so nice. I decided, well, the doctors aren't working. My, my, 
nutrition has been helping, but I'm in a mess. So I put the patches on. I put the 39 on, the E on, and the ice waves. And by golly, within a week, I started to be able to walk again. And I was able to walk a mile in less than a week. The pain was reducing. I wasn't groaning. My husband said, well, I'd been tossing and turning with foot pain for years, but it was even worse during this during this time of the fall and all the inflammation I had. So I was I was a mess, but I began to see hope. My husband said, oh, my gosh, you know, you're sleeping better. You're not tossing and turning. I said, sleeping. I'm having these amazing dreams. I don't I've never I don't think I'd been in REM sleep for years, years. And so I went on and I started to take more of the patches. I added the 49. I added um, the Carnison. I added the SP6. I lost more weight. I felt better. And my knees, the bone on bone in my knees is just, it's there. And I've been to my orthopedic doctor and he goes, well, it's uh, holding its own. I think you might not have to have surgery. But other things began to happen. I, I found that I, I was, I had, I had this weird walk in the ocean and I got this, and this was in last May and I got this infection in my leg. And I, and the thing that I did is I put, I put the patches on. I thought, well, I'm into these patches. So I put the Eon and the 39 and the 49 and the Carnison all over my leg. And I, Ended up going to the doctor because I was about to fly out of town for my grandchildren's um, graduation from college. And uh, so my doctor said, you've got to go on these antibiotics because this is not going to get better. It's very red. It's very inflamed. You need the antibiotics. I said, well, and what are those Band-Aids on your leg? <laughs> so she was she was very cute. And I. I took the, I got the antibiotics. I flew out of town, but I kept doing the patches, 12 hours on, 12 hours off, and this rash went away. I'd never used the antibiotics. Beyond that, so many other things have happened. My allergies have gone away. I've had allergies for years that I've had to take um, Allegra and Sudafed. And, and suddenly, about last March, my allergies were so much better, I didn't have to take the medicine. When I go up to Lake Arrowhead, where I live and part of the time, um, sometimes things are growing and and the seasons are changing and I have to put an Allegra on, but I haven't used the Sudafed in months. I don't, I've been on this journey of finding that as a nurse, um, medicines are not the answer. We need to go, we need to go with natural methods. And these patches have become the natural method of choice. But you've also got to eat right. You've got to drink a lot of water. And as April says, you've got to have that Celtic salt, which I bought, and I use it all the time. But I've had hair. I mean, my hair is amazing. It's, I always have had pretty good hair. But it's growing. All these little hairs are growing. My hairdresser goes, did you cut your bangs? I said, no, it's just new hair growing. And then... And, and then the skin improvement. I went for a facial the other day. She said, I can't believe someone of your age, 77, has such good skin. And so, you know, plump, it's, it's, it's hydrated. And your wrinkles, you don't have any wrinkles. I said, well, I do. I do have wrinkles. I am 77. But all in all, it has been an amazing process. And I'm so grateful. And I, I thank everyone that's been in my life encouraging this. And Really, my life goal has always been helping people as a nurse. And I just want to help more and more people feel better and better and know that, yes, you can have a pacemaker and, and still be on these patches without any problem at all. And it's just changed my life. But you got to do the whole journey. you got to do the nutrition. you got to do the water. you got to exercise. I now walk five miles a day with no problem. And... That's the key. You got to follow David Schmidt, this brilliant, brilliant man's um, creation, and uh, and do the right things.
Wow, Barbara, I love that. I mean, just think of all the things you said, hair, skin, deeper sleep, bone on bone knees, allergies are gone, the chronic pain you suffered all those years, and there's the wound that you had from being in the ocean. That's so many things. That's so wonderful. And did you catch that Barbara said, too, that she has a pacemaker? And guess what? The patches, she uses them all. And not one issue, right, Barbara? Because a lot of people right. ask that. And they say, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm afraid. You know, this has to, what can this do if, I'm gonna, if I have a pacemaker? I'm like, absolutely nothing. But it's, you know, it's their choice. It's all but you have been patching now for over a year. A year and two months. Yep. A year and two months. And and I use the energy patches too, by the way, right there, right there. Right on that heart point. That's wonderful. <laughs> I love that. Well, thank you for sharing. That was a wonderful story, Barbara. You've got so many different so many different things that have helped you. Brian, did you have any questions for Barbara? I do not, but I sure love that story and can think of a whole lot of people that if I share that story with, it's it could inspire them to change their lives too. Wow. Wow. Absolutely. Thank you, Barbara. We'll have to have you back to give us another update on all the wonderful things, all your progression. And Brian, now he's going to, he's going to interview Pam and she's got a, can't wait to hear this update on Katie. Yeah. Hey everybody. My name is Brian Penrod. I'm from San Antonio, Texas, uh, newer LifeWave uh, senior presidential director. And while my guest Pam Fry, uh, she certainly has her own personal life sharing, uh, life changing story that she'll probably share a little bit about as well, because it really leads into something super special that you get to hear about tonight. And uh, it's an amazing story of her daughter, Katie. Uh, so, Pam, I'd like to ask you first, uh, let everybody know where you're from and, and how old is your daughter? Hi, I'm Pam. I'm from Louisiana, and my daughter Katie is 43 years old today. Today is her birthday, which makes it pretty much of a god wink that we got included tonight. Wow. Just her, happy her birthday! <laughs> That's... Happy birthday to Katie. Yeah. She's had a good one. She's got quite the amazing attitude, and and I I'm. I'm thinking of right now the last time I got to visit her and I can't wait to see her again and you. And uh, so, you know, I guess I'm just going to really just let you take it away. And so can you first let everybody know a little bit about, uh, you know, your background and then you can, you, and you know, when you start, you personally yourself even started using the patches, maybe a little bit shortly about that story. Uh, and then, uh, what happened? How did how did you figure out that maybe Katie should try this technology too? And then, you know, when did she start? And then what changed for her since then? Okay, well, get ready. So for my story, um, I had a condition from a surgery that left me with an impairment that was un is unfixable. I've been through 31 surgeons. I went through um, three sinus surgeries and a brain surgery to try and repair the trigeminal damage that was in my face. There, it's a condition that um, they call it the suicide condition um, because you pretty much lose your mind trying to get away from facial migraines that you can't stop. And I had up until someone sent me a mercy package, which was Brian Penrod. Um, I was in a seven day cycle of a migraine and Brian said, as, I, I was asking for prayers and he asked if he could send me something. And I said, send a miracle. Well, he did. He sent me a envelope with five days worth of ice wave and five X39s. And he said on the back of it, just try this, put it here, here, and here. Drink a big glass of water, wait five minutes, and your level 10 pain will go down to a two. Well, I had been through 2,400 days of migraines every single day at a level 10. So believing that in five minutes that was going to be over was a little tough. But I put the patches here, here, and here, 
exactly like you said, and drank a big glass of water and in five minutes, it went from a 10 to a two. And I was a believer. So on, that was last February, I went from being bedridden to being able to do everything that I wanted to do in a day. And I, since last February, have not had a go to bed facial migraine at all. It stopped the incurable condition that they told me I was just going to have to live with for the rest of my life. Well, all I thought about with the patches, you can never think past your pain. All you ever think is, how do I get out of the spot I'm in? And so all I knew was that Ice Wave and X39 and Eon later was exactly the ticket to get out of pain. Well. My daughter, Katie, is 43 years old, and Katie was born perfectly normal. At six weeks of age, she had equal eye meningitis that wiped out her nervous system. She lost everything. So from six weeks of age until today, she has lived 43 years in a body that doesn't work. And last March, I had just had relief from Ice Wave and, and X39, and I thought, okay, that's all that does. It just does pain stuff. So, but I didn't think past that because you never think past your pain. Well, Katie woke up with a crick in her neck, and I thought, okay, it worked for me. So I put a X39 on her trap. And that day, that was in March of lot of 23. On that day, Katie got very relaxed. And she's always happy, but she was happier. And so, you know, we thought, good day. Didn't tell my husband that I had done it. It was all good. Well, the next day, I thought, let's do that again. On the second day, that's when Katie's arm that's been contracted and, and pulled in for 42 years went completely straight, and she put it over her own head. And that was the beginning of her journey. So we went from a body that was locked with a nonverbal child that lived a very good life and is happy. We thought we couldn't ask for more or expect more because, you know, you just have to live within your boundaries. Well, our boundaries got moved. The day that that patch went on her and her arm went up, that boundary got moved and it has never gone back. Her, her box is open now. She is patching, we're patching her. Katie now can have a conversation with you. She's verbal now because my good friend, April Vaughn said, come sit with me. I have something to tell you. You put cornizine on Katie and you're gonna have your daughter talk. And April Vaughn today on her birthday, I get to tell you, you were right. She's talking. She can now hug me with both arms because both arms move. She can put her arms over her head. She can kick both of her legs independently. This doesn't sound like something that's very much. If you've never had it, it is a miracle to watch unfold. She has the freedom that her mind has always had locked in there. She just had no way to get, get it out. Now she does. Her, her immune system is incredible now. She went, we got the flu. We went all through COVID and all through all this other stuff. We got nothing. We got exposed to the flu. Fever is very dangerous for Katie because it can cause seizures. Well, she didn't, she had fever for less than a day. She had no seizures and she kicked the flu in three days. She's the healthiest person in our house. <laughs> she is on no medication whatsoever. She has done no physical therapy in the last 25 to 30, well, 30, 30 years. She hasn't done physical therapy. Like I said, we lived within our limitations and we made the most of them, but you can only do what you can do. And we were happy with that, but that, that is gone. That day's gone. There is no limitations now. We live with expectations and we live with what's going to happen next. She has decided now that she wants to paint again. She hasn't painted in 30 years. She did that in school as a part of a curriculum. Well, she wants to paint again. So today she unwrapped all of her painting 
painting stuff that she's going to start art again um, because she wants to create. These things, it's patches. That's it. It's the technology that has unlocked her brain. It's unlocked her body. It's unlocked her soul. She is, she lives with a, a reckless abandoned joy. And she's, it's pretty contagious because if you see her, you're going to smile. And if you start smiling, then you're going to be happy. And that happiness keeps going and keeps going. But, you know, we, we do, we patch her with glutathione, um, carnosine, 39 and 49, um, 39, 49 or every day, uh, carnosine, glutathione, eon, and Alavita, I mean, she does them all. She does everything except pain because she has no pain. And energy, she has great energy. So there you go. Um, her immune system is crazy good. Her eating habits have not changed. Nothing in Katie's life changed except patches. That is the only thing. To unlock anything that's in your body, and if you give it the right frequency and you put hydration in, and you just give it some time for the body to regenerate and restore, it is going to do what it was intended to do because that's how God created us. There's nothing that can stop his creation except man. And if we have the right tool and we do, it's right here. Just put the sticker on. I mean, what do you have to lose? I have a daughter that now she's still in a wheelchair and we're okay with that. If God decides that Katie's gonna walk, then Katie's gonna walk. But if she doesn't, it's not a failure. We've still, we've still beat life. We've every day we're better and she's better and better. And she's inspiring other people to have hope again. And that's the thing that you can't just give somebody. It's, it's something that comes from you. And when it gets into you, you don't want to let it go. So that, that is what the patches can do. They can ignite hope. And with that, there is no limit. You were sharing a story right before we went on about, was she in a restaurant today having a conversation with someone? She was. She was in a restaurant. And on any given time, if you know somebody with a disability or has limitations in wheelchair, noises behind them can scare them. Um, all the movement that's in a restaurant can really unnerve them because it's a lot of noise that you don't know is coming. She didn't flinch. It didn't bother her whatsoever. And before it would have bothered her. We would have put her away from the crowd. We would have made sure that, you know, she wasn't a spectacle if somebody made a loud noise. Well, now she's the loudest person in the restaurant. She's telling everybody hi. But none of that bothered her. She ate, she drank. She did everything like everyone else. And we stopped to talk to people that my, my husband works with. And she she told them hi and was just talking to them too. And she, they were total strangers. This is, <laughs> she, she she's just something. But the biggest thing is Katie sings now. When you go from a nonverbal person and they begin singing, that's a change in the brain. But the bigger thing is Katie now hums and humming is a reverberation in the body that resets the brain back to center. And that is not something she studied or was told or her body instinctively knew. And she began humming again and she got that back. So she's balancing her own brain with, with her own energy. It's not something that we have to teach her because she had it. We all have it. Have you ever had the lunch lady? You remember remember being back in school? The lunch ladies were always the ones wiping the tables and humming. They were happy and balanced. They didn't have anybody. <laughs> they were just in their own world doing their thing. So now that she's doing that, yesterday she was relaxed. I had put an eon on the, that left arm that's been contracted. The arm extends now, but that hand is still contracted. And last night I... I put an eon right on that contracture, right on that. And she straightened her arm out and rested it on her lap, but she took her right hand and she put it over her wrist with an open hand. And she was, she opened it, her fingers were open and she was soothing herself 
but it's not because she was thinking about it. It's because it was her natural instinct to be able to cross over. I was told by Lillian Walker, that traumatic brain specialist, that with Katie doing that, that crossover, that is the left side of the brain and the right side of the brain communicating again. So what we have taken after 42 years of not being able to break through, less than a year of patching, her brain now is working cohesively and we don't know what's coming next. I mean, she is no show pony. She, she is a racehorse, but she is no show pony. You can't make her do anything. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen. And when you have your daughter hug you with two arms after not being able to, that's a mom moment. When you have your daughter look at you and say, how are you? And you tell her, I'm not doing good today. And she looked at me and she said, I can tell. Well, I melted just throw me on the ground. I'm over. I'm done. And she was soothing me. She was the person giving comfort when that's been my job for 42 years. That's what patching does. Um, she's, she's literally come back. She's literally come back alive and she has a new life in, you know, we've heard three stories tonight so far of of just a similar nature, literally being able to live life again. It's happened to me. It's happened with April. So how does this work? What is this? So if you're somebody that's listening to this somewhere around the world on a replay or you're on tonight, what is it? It's a patch that's about this size. If you, so you can see kind of the size of it. And Pam has one on her as well tonight. And so what is in this patch? What is this? Well, it's the world's first non-transdermal technology. So if you've ever heard of patches that, say, for example, a nicotine patch, or there's different patches with different ingredients, those are transdermal because you have a uh, some sort of a chemical or, or whatever going through the skin. Well, we have an amazing founder. His name is David Schmidt. I'm going to let April tell you a little bit more about him in a second. But what he did was he found a way to be able to produce a, uh, a wearable light technology. And what's inside this patch is a crystalline lattice that's made out of salts, a combination of salts, sugars, amino acids, water, and oxygen. It's real simple. They figured out a way, he figured out a way to produce a crystal lattice. Why, why would you want to do that? Well, our own bodies are the battery. We we have we have a light signature. If you've ever seen somebody say for example in a movie like uh if you've ever if you ever saw one of the Arnold Schwarzenegger movies, I'm trying to remember the name of it right now and it's slipping by me, but you can see the 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 signature of a person if you have night vision goggles on. That is our infrared light that is being emitted from the body. What what David Schmidt figured out a way to do was to be able to reflect that light back to the skin in a way that it can be life-changing. It's they're, they're different light waves. So for example, uh, just in nature, it's been going on for thousands of years from the beginning, you know, from the beginning of time. When the sunlight hits our skin, it creates a, a, a cascade of reactions like vitamin D. Uh, that are very healthy for us. So it's that very similar type of technology, but but uh, reflected back to the skin and signaling the body to do things that the world is just now starting to hear about. So April, why don't you tell them a little bit about David Schmidt? I'd love to, and I thank you, Pam. And I know there are so many questions in the chat for Pam too. Um, I've loved following your journey this past year and watching Katie's progress. So, um, you know, if you want to see some just some, I mean, her heart felt her Facebook page. I mean, that's why I love watching it. So if you want to see her story, I'm sure Pam wouldn't mind sharing some of the, because I know a lot of you are struggling with some of the same things as well with a child that, you know, or a family member. So you're more than welcome to, if Pam's okay with that, to reach out to her and follow her journey. Cause I know she loves to share. She's got such a huge heart. She wants to help everyone. So um, yes, Brian, that's exactly right. David Smith is the man behind this technology, this wearable light technology. He's our inventor. He's our brilliant scientist that just, he's also just a wonderful man that lives in Orlando, Florida. 
Um, I love that we have zero competition. No one else has this technology, this life-changing technology. LifeWave is a debt-free company, and this year we're celebrating 20 years old. So we, um, we're in over 80 countries. We just launched in South Korea last week. We are a biotech company with over 94 patents, and 70 of these are regenerative science. So when this X39 stem cell activation patch came out just, this right here is what we're all talking about tonight, just four years ago, we were doing about $30 million a year. And currently, we finished up last year, I think, well over $400 million. So we are changing lives on all, all over the world. We're growing massively right now. So who do you know that needs this amazing technology in their lives? Who do you know that's in pain or tired or suffering, low energy, needing weight loss, needing brain cognitive improvement? Like listen to the stories we had tonight. They're just fabulous on the, what this patch can do. Who do you know that you could help by just sharing this with someone? I, for one, am so thankful that someone shared this with me just two and a half years ago when I was suffering greatly myself. Um, so how can you get your hands on these? You can purchase them retail, you can become a preferred customer, or you can get back with whoever invited you on here tonight and we can help you create a customized wholesale pack where we have five different wholesale packages that you can choose from starting at as little as $149 all the way to $15.99 for someone that's wanting this to, to use in their business or for a large family. So get back with whoever invited you and I'd love for you to go to this website. And you can learn more, look at some amazing testimonials, um, photos, before and afters, watch some great videos on Start X39. Now, thank you, David, for putting that in the chat. Start X39 Now is a great place to learn lots more. And we'll be back on Tuesday night, Wednesday night, Thursday night, and Friday during the day. So join us at the same same Zoom link. We'd love to have you. And um, thank you, Brian, for being my co-host. You're just amazing. And Pam and Barbara, you are wonderful ladies. Thank you for sharing your hearts and your stories to help others. We really love, love and appreciate you guys. It's been a great night. Thanks. Thank you. Can I Thanks say so one more much? Thing? Yes, say, Pam. Don't let don't let our journey let it inspire you, but don't don't think that if you don't have this next day wonderful reaction that it's it didn't work for you because everybody is different and our instant miracle took 42 years my instant miracle took 2400 days so it you know it it was a lot of time and since then what i didn't get to say is i i it in the last 11 weeks i have not had not even the beginning of a facial migraine. So the nerve regenerated, but it took 10 months. So, so you gave it 10. time. And Pam, someone asked in the chat, I forgot to have, you don't mind sharing that. Where did you place the patches that you feel specifically helped for that condition? And several were asking that in the chat. So I, I put right at the base of my hairline at the base of my skull i used ice wave left hand white right and i placed it right it's right in that dent at the back of your skull and then x39 right on the bump of the neck and i did that every single day for five and a half weeks until i was outside doing something that i should not have been doing i was mowing the grass and i realized I didn't have a migraine. I knew what it was going to cost me if I went mow grass. I was going to have a migraine and go to bed for the rest of the day. But I didn't have a migraine. And I had forgot to put my patch on. And I was still good. So mm. <laughs> I came in the house and I took a shower and I put them on just in case. But nothing happened. I, I didn't have a migraine that day and I didn't have to go to bed. But now that's not even the thing that I thought I would never forget is the thing I never think of. Now it's not my story of 2,400 days of migraines. Now it's Katie's story. I, I, mine doesn't matter anymore. That's crazy to me. <laughs> wow. Thank you, Pam. Thank you so much. Y'all have been blessed so many people. And I um, love you guys. Have a great night. Thanks for joining us. Praise the Lord. Praise Thank the Lord. you, Becca. Thank you, Happy Brian. Happy birthday to Katie. Thank you. Great, great uh, podcast. Thank you, awesome. April. Awesome, April. Thanks, Thank Kathy. You.
Thank you. You're so welcome. This was good. Thank you, guys. Soaking Bye. in the glory. Soaking in the glory. Come on. <laughs> oh, I geez. love it. Like, thank you, Lord. <laughs> Best podcast ever, April. Oh, thank you. That was it was wonderful. I feel the it same really way. was wonderful. Thank you. How can we follow um Pam, Pam. Fry? Yes, ma'am. Just send her a friend request on Facebook, Pam F R E Y, and you can just see some just wonderful stories and follow her daughter's journey because it's been it's been so powerful to watch it this past year and see her improvement and see um what what you know God has done in their lives. It's just been um it's just been simply amazing. That's fantastic. I'm gonna forward this one to someone I met today whose son is a special needs. Mm. And uh, he's 35. And anyway, so, and do you remember um, Suzanne Sumner's, who her doctor was in Houston? She had a doctor that, and it's in the books that she wrote. Yes, Dr. Remember? Stan, Dr. Stan Brzezinski. Stan Brzezinski. 